Welcome to this video on database design. My name's Andy Wicks and in this video we're going to look at the second stage of object-oriented database design, making the links. In the first video we looked at how you found the objects that a particular problem would need. The problem we were looking at was that, that of a second-hand bookshop. We were looking at what objects a second-hand bookshop might need. And now, in this video, we're going to make a link between those objects. So let's start at the beginning. What were the objects that we found in that first video? Well, the things we found were author, book, category, title and purchase. And now we're going to start looking at what the links are between them. The first thing you might think is that author and book are linked. But as we've discovered in the first video, a book is a physical book. Author doesn't link to book, author links to title. So J.K. Rowling, for example, wrote The Order of the Phoenix. That's the title. A particular book on the shelf, well, that's a different problem. So let's make that first link between author and title. Here we have that link. But you'll notice that this is a very long link, and just for the sake of convenience, I'm going to move title over next to author, like this. And now we've got a shorter link, and one that's a little more obvious. What we're doing is grouping objects together in a way, so that they're logically connected. Well, what else can we link? We can link title and category. So a particular title belongs to one or more categories. And then we could have title and book. Book and title are obviously linked. Uh, we have a book on the shelf. It has a title. And if we know the title, then by the links that we've already created, we know the author and we know the categories of that book on the shelf. And finally, we have book and purchase. We've purchased that book from someone somewhere. So these are our links. Now let's check out some of the other things. Does author link to category? Well, there is no obvious link between author and category. An author could write anything. What about author and book? Well, no, we've already discussed that. Author and book are two separate objects. They're only linked by the title. And what about author and purchase? Well, there's no particular reason why a particular author should be purchased from one particular place at one particular time. That's not going to work. Title does link to category and book, but the title doesn't link to purchase either, because there's no particular reason why a purchase should be just for a particular title. Category and book, well, no, a book is what's on the shelf. So the category only links to the title. So now we've checked out all the possible links. The next stage is where we start getting interesting again. 